Hi guys, welcome to Dip Draw. Let's create seamless pattern Adobe Fresco. So let's get started. First, open your Adobe Fresco app on your iPad or whichever device you're using laptop. And using the current screen size page, I have opened my page. Let me adjust the size of the page. On the left hand side, you will see different brushes and tools. The third one are the vector brushes, the second one are the live brushes and the first one are the pixel brushes. Today I'm going to use the vector brushes for my vector graphics. I've chosen the round vector brush and here you can increase or decrease the size of the brush. And then downward side you will see the color wheel where you can choose your own colors. First create a layer and then Using the fill tool, I'm going to fill the color. Here, there are, you get two options, either vector or pixel. Now, using the vector tool brush, I'm going to draw my flower. Or whatever you want to, whatever graphic you want to draw. Remember to make the graphics on different layers so that you can use them later on now fill the color in the flower create another layer i'm going to create another layer for another flower for every graphic, try to use different layers. Here, I have created the and fill the color. And then boom, here I got my two flowers. Now I'm going to make the leaf. on another layer sorry by mistake and then fill it with the pink color now my three graphics are ready as you can see now I'll choose the graphic I want to duplicate and I'll duplicate and transform it according to my wish. You here you can skew, distort or use the perspective tool to transform your object or graphic and you can play with it. And adjust and put your graphics on your remember to put all the graphics in the center so that it becomes easy to make the seamless pattern in the center of the area of the page. Duplicate the graphics and put them whata in whatever way you like. Duplicating another graphic, another flower and putting them, transforming and putting them in different places like I said remember to put them in the cent center of the page Now after you're done with your now that you're done with your placing your objects and graphics, it's time to group them together. Like, like I'm doing here. Remember to duplicate every single graphic 
so that you can use them later while creating the seamless pattern. Now I have done grouping them together. Now all you have to do is put your duplicated graphics on one side on top of that and the grouped ones on the downward side merging it with the background layer. So here you can see my design right. Now all you have to duplicate into four layers. Now, now my four layers are ready. Now all you have to do is hide the layers. Hide other layers except one single background, the combined layer. Do it single by single because when you will do it by together, it, it isn't possible. Remember to turn on the snapping, on the snapping tool and at 45 degree and alignment guides are on. Now it's, it's time to do, create the seamless pattern. Now all you have to do is first with the shown layer you have to drag it to the topmost left hand side and the second layer to the topmost right hand side. making sure the alignment guides are on so that you snap it magnetically and the third layer as well downward side on the left hand side and the fourth layer too downward on the right hand side now as you wish, as you can see following me i'm done with the snapping now turn your graphs grids type on so that you can see the page length and width now all you have to do is place your objects in the center of the page on your page the visible page first unhide them by showing layer and then place it according to your wish like we have done before try to fill the most of the areas of the page so that it looks good while making the seamless pattern
after you're done uh, placing them all you have to do is merge the elements together each element in a different group or either you can do it like together to is totally your wish Now merge these three layers with the background layer. First, make merge the four snapped layers and the rest of the layers as well. Now, your seamless pattern is done, as you can see here. Now, all you have to do is duplicate it four times if you want to see it in a if you want to see it in a seamless pattern. Now. After you're done with it, I'm going to tell you a trick. Instead of doing that, you can also first export it. First, you can while exporting, you can see your seamless pattern generated. You can use the Adobe Capture to make the see the seamless pattern or as I don't have it, I don't use it much. You can export it, naming the file, PNG format, and then save it to your photos or files. Now all you have to do is, this is my trick, go to the Safari and write over there, Seamless Pattern Generator. Now choose the Lauren TW1. And upload your image here. It is uploading. As 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 it get uploaded, you can see the seamless chat pattern generated here over here. Now, you can download it or if you don't want, just use it as it is. I've downloaded it to showcase you.